One of the cool things that you can do in CSS is to create a right-sided watermark for your pages. The finished web page that we're creating will have an image at the bottom right and as people scroll up and down it will stay in that position. The bare bones document that we're going to be working with has 10 paragraphs of Lauren Ibsen so that we can look how the content relates to the watermark. I've added a graphic that we're going to be using as that little watermark down at the bottom and just put in some comments here that remind you that because you're using the fixed position it doesn't matter where you place your image within your code as long as it is its parent is either the body or your container division it will take it out of that normal flow and put it down where we state it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to give my graphic a class and we're going to call this class watermark. Let's go up and take a look at our bare bones style. So we have our watermark class which we just added to our image. We have a body because I'm going to work a little bit with that. I always change the font and the line spacing and we're going to work with our paragraphs, move them away a bit from our watermark so that it stays visible. So let's start working on this. So I'm going to give it an opacity and I can never say that right so excuse me. And I'm going to give it a position of fixed, of course, that's what we're working on. I'm going to give it an automatic spacing from the top. I'm going to give it a right and margin out of 25 pixels and a bottom of 25 pixels as well. So this is going to keep it at a square area down at the bottom. So let me make my changes that I always make to my body. By this point you should know that what I'm doing is I'm making my font face either Arial or Sans Serif. I think it's easier to read than Times New Roman. And I'm going to give my line spacing 1.5 of what it would normally be by doing 1.5 EM so there's a little bit more room between them. And finally we're going to define some margins for our paragraph. I'm going to do 0 pixels to the top of each one, 80 pixels to the right, that should keep it away from our watermark, 25 pixels at the bottom, and 0 pixels at the left. So let's run this. and I'm going to bring it separate from my other things that I have open. I think I am. Let's move it to a new window and I'm going to resize it. And you'll see as we scroll up and down our little CSS watermark will stay on the lower right. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and with just a few lines of CSS we've created a watermark. Thanks.